Hey guys, my name is Martin Bura, and today we're going to be talking about GCE startup scripts. So Google Compute Engine has this pretty interesting, pretty cool thing known as startup scripts. And what they are really is just um, a mechanism for you to be able to deploy some code that runs every single time your virtual machine begins. So what are startup scripts? Well, they're just these bash scripts that you can apply to your virtual machine that um, occur every single time your virtual machine begins. And they could be used for things like configuring environment, downloading dependencies, initializing services, downloading updates, and whatever else, whatever other configuration you may find necessary for your VMs. The great thing about startup scripts is that they can be used both, both within Bash as well as Python and can be applied to a running virtual machine as well as a new VM that you create from scratch, or you can link a startup script that exists in Google Cloud Storage. So, in this today's example, we're just going to create a simple virtual machine that takes in a startup script. And the job of that startup script is to be able to go ahead and download and install Go within our VM. So you can actually start to see the real benefit of having a startup script. When you use a GCE VM, usually it just comes with some plain old Linux and nothing really installed. In our case, we ensure that the moment our VM starts up, we have Golang installed and we can do whatever we want from then on. So this is actually an approach that scales because you can apply these startup scripts to multiple virtual machines and you can ensure that they're all running Go or whatever other configuration that it is that you need. And so these are the commands that we're going to be looking at. So let's, let's walk through these commands real quick. So some of the commands we're going to be using today are in one scenario when we have a new virtual machine over here or when you have a running VM. Let's take a closer look at the scripts. So this command here, gcloud compute instances create, all it does is that it tells uh, Google Cloud to create a compute resource and we'll give it a name over here, whatever your name we want to call it. In our case, we'll call it Golang VM. We'll then specify that we require some metadata from a file within our computer using this flag and that it's a startup script. So there should be a space or somewhere around here. And we'll give the path to our startup scripts. You can give the relative path or the absolute path. It's up to you. And let's not forget to specify our zone over here and your project. In a future video, I'll show you how these can actually be set automatically without you having to keep on specifying them. In a running VM case, same thing. We're going to use a gcloud command to create a compute instance. We'll give it a name over here. And in this case, instead of just specifying metadata from file, we'll just go ahead and say we're going to add metadata to it because this instance is already running. We're going to add metadata and we'll continue with the same command that was here. Metadata from file, what type of uh, metadata we're going to be using, a startup script and our path to our startup script. And last but not least, specify both our project and our zone. So let's open up a terminal and create a new instance. We'll call this instance Golang VM and set the zone to Europe West 1D. After the instance is created, let's go and check into it using gcloud compute SSH. And I'll put my name at the start of the VM. Let's also go ahead and set the zone to Europe West 1D. Once you've checked in, let's see if Go is installed by typing in Go or Go version. We can clearly see Go is not installed. So right now we're going to go ahead and create a script that once run will install Golang on whatever virtual machine we want. So let's go ahead and create a bash script. The first thing we want to check is if Go is actually installed. So if Go has not been installed, we'll say, hey, error, Golang has not been installed. And we'll go ahead and run the script that will install it. However, if Go has been installed, we'll just simply say, okay, Go, Go has been installed. So the script is actually quite simple. We'll go ahead and download the file from the Go repository. We'll unzip that file and we're going to make sure we can set the environment variables. It's important to actually set the path to your user. Otherwise, Go will not know where exactly to install it. Once complete, we'll type in the command gcloud compute add metadata, and we'll specify the type of metadata we want by saying metadata from file, and we want a startup script. Here, I'll just give the name of the, start of the bash file we just created. We'll specify the VM we want to add the metadata to and specify the zone that the VM is in. Now that metadata has been added to the Golang VM. So what we should actually go and do is stop the virtual machine and restart it. Because it's a startup script, the script will only be run when the virtual machine has been restarted and is in the starting state. 
Once the Golang VM has been started, let's SSH into the virtual machine and make sure our startup script has been run. We'll go ahead and use the command tail n 10. What this does is we'll actually see the last 10 lines of logs within the var log syslog folder. As you can see, our command within our startup script has actually been run. And when we check our Go version, we actually do get a version, meaning Go has been installed. You can actually use the GCP console to look at our virtual machine. Within your virtual machine, scroll down to a section called custom metadata. Here you can actually see the startup script that this virtual machine uses. So as of now, we've only applied a startup script to a running virtual machine. What about in a scenario where we wanted to create the virtual machine with the startup script? In this case, we'll create a new virtual machine called Golang VM2, and we'll set in the flag metadata from file. We'll specify the type of metadata being a startup script and give it the path to the file. We'll set the zone to Europe North 1A, which is somewhere in Finland. After virtual machine actually starts up, We'll SSH into a virtual machine and we'll use the tail command to look at the recent logs from that startup script. As you can see, our startup script has been run and Go is actually installed in this new virtual machine. If for any scenario your startup script does not run, there are ways in which you can go about restarting your startup script. However, you will have to SSH into your VM manually and run this command. All right, so there you go, guys. If you want to clean up, just go ahead and delete those virtual machines. There's nothing else you guys have to clean up. And without further ado, that is how you use startup scripts with GCP.